So guys, welcome to the first big game of 2021 and the end of the Hitman trilogy. It is here. Whew, I'm excited for this one. Part one, if you guys could be awesome, I appreciate all the support, especially on the first part. If you guys could be awesome, leave your likes and comments. There'll be links to the game in the description below. Also, I am playing on a review code, just so you guys are aware. The developers of this game are now moving on to a James Bond 007 game. Ooh, that's exciting. I can't wait for that. This is the perfect developer. Hopefully with some decent backing, they could make a really good 007 game. Oh yes, can't wait for that. Anyway, uh, let's begin Hitman 3. Let's do it. So you got all the stories available, the, obviously the previous two games. We're going to start story of Hitman 3. I believe I've uploaded both of those games before. So if you guys want to check them out, links will be in the description below. Let's do it. The story so far. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again, 
We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. On top of the world. Welcome to Dubai. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. So some of you guys might have seen this mission uh, with my preview coverage. Thank you guys for watching the video. This will obviously be the full mission. Uh, live commentary and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm, I believe, obviously, once we've done the mission, it does open up some new uh, starting locations. That toolbox is... Oh! Oh my! I hope no one's down there. Ooh, that did not sound good. Yeah, first objective, get inside the building. I am playing on PC, by the way. I know they're releasing a, a next-gen update as well, at some point. I'm actually really tempted to check out the Hitman VR. Locked. Oh. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? Okay. I think I can override the Windows controls from here. Sounds like a plan. Clip the camera. Use camera. There we go. We're in. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. No, they're not. They are getting killed today. Mark my words. By the way, watch this transition. It's so good. I don't know how they do it, but it's so smooth. Most so smooth. This is also why I'm really excited for a James Bond game. This is smooth as hell. Ooh, bam! 47, you are looking sharp. So we don't have a, a map currently available. So I'm trying to find one. Ideally. Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. I do feel very welcome. Thank you. There's an opportunity up there, apparently. Welcome! Welcome, oh, welcome! Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many You can just get a sense of the sheer amount of money around here. Incredible. Wow. And as all of you I am one of the less of the Can I have some wine, please? Can we not? But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was wow. worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement might not have been possible. What a building, though. 
Obviously, this isn't a real building, but you get a sense of the uh, the scale, the richness of Dubai, of Dubai, for sure. Ooh, a bit of length there. Alrighty then. Uh, we would love a map. This might be a good place to start. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. We could do that. We could definitely do that. There's an opportunity over here, over here, sorry. As my voice gives up. I might want to try and open up. Hello, I don't mean to Potentially. Should we have a little nosy? It's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. You... Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Hmm. I think we should try and find out. Yeah, you can't definitely. Enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. How do we get well, his hair, though? That's how it is. Think about it week. and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Crystal. Crystal clear. So I need his disguise. Hmm. Where's he going? I would need somewhere to hide the body, ideally. Screwdriver here. Hmm. There's too many people around. Crystal Dawn won't be happy. Excuse me. Can you please extinguish that cigarette? You are going. Directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I was just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and bitch Jesus, celery or whatever it is like you do. Or do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is wow. your problem? <coughs> this guy's a you douche. Sick. You have no idea. Where's he's gonna go now? Need to go somewhere a little bit more quiet. Perhaps... Ah, perhaps he's so hostile... He's just gonna keep pushing people away. <laughs> Potentially. Hmm. Where's he going now? I need that disguise. Can I do it? Can I do it now? Yeah, I guess so. You stay there. I'm gonna take your disguise, take your weapon, and drag this body. I'm hoping here is good enough, but I honestly have no idea. Ooh, he's got a suppressed weapon. Lethal poison pill jar. Yes, I'm taking that. Uh, was that folding knife? Take the knife as well. Just have to hope no one finds the body, but I'm not feeling particularly confident. I could try and dump the body uh, off the edge, which you can do, but you do lose points for killing a target or anyone, basically. So I'm going to try and just leave him there and fingers crossed. Right, let's continue. Let's go to reception. I just realised that I've now got no hair. So he just shaved his hair off. Hold it, sir. Sir, oh. I'm sorry. That's this is good, a restricted sir. area. Keep going. Illegal items in infantry. Okay. What do I need to get rid of? I think we might be okay. Yeah. I think we can sneak through here. With these items. Hopefully. Right, off to reception. Sir, get out of my way. Sir, if you want to get through, I'm going to have to pad you down. That's fine by me. I might Won't have a screwdriver, a second, but don't sir. don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> don't, don't ask any questions. Please. I think we're good. Right, that's it. Keep Yay. moving, please. And we got some XP. 
Right, so I'm officially the vulture. Hello. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. His voice has changed. Mr. Ingram <laughs> has been expecting you. Who we is? have a conference room set up for you. Let's go and have a chat with him. I'm glad we can maybe dispose of one of the targets already. I like this. What's up? We're gonna get searched again? No, we're good. Man, look at the wealth! Is that marble stairs? Someone's got some dollar around here. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Oh, I will. Mr. Ingram will be here shortly. Sir. Thank you. You can poison that soda can there without anyone noticing. <laughs> uh, no, can't do that. Oh, he's here. Please take a seat. Hello. It's time for a nice little chat. I'll get straight to the point. All right. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions <laughs> about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Okay, do we continue down this line? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know there's another approach, which is probably a little bit easier, but I'm really intrigued by this one. This storyline is very intriguing. Hi there, friend. Very intriguing indeed. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should go through with it. We should do this. I want to do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. So we have a slight clue over here. This hands guy. We do have a picture. Ready to look at the intel. <laughs> there he is. Okay. That's quite a recognisable face. So he's got a parting in the middle. Quiet, chubby, <laughs> is it fair to say? He's got glasses and he's got like a purple suit. Oh, I found him. And he's got a ponytail. What a dude. All right, take a picture when he's uh, been taken care of. Incapacitated. All right, where is he going? As long as we can find a nice little quiet spot for this inquisitive little press guy. Hello, sir. Uh, this reporter. I can escort him. Oh. Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I understand, it's the Royal He's asking more questions. Madhouse. It must be quite the view up there. Do you think you could get me access to there? I mean, it would really make my day. Sorry, I have no idea. You should talk to security. I just work down here. All right, thanks for your help. This stinks of something. How do you even get access to here, anyway? Must have known someone. I can escort him. Mr. Look, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? 
Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Oh, great. Oh, 47, you are too good. Right. This one's somewhere a little bit quiet. You coming? Yeah, a little bit quiet and we can get in. I think there's a quiet little spot around here, actually. I need to find somewhere, ideally, I can dispose of the body. Aha! So I can get there's through this door. The doors to the staff area. Following a, a new story. Oh, perfect. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. We're in. Yes. There's quite a bit of security here. This, this feels One awesome. moment. I don't trust you. You ready for some more fresh no, air, 47? Okay. Talk to me again. Ooh, it's, he's gone. He's done. Yeah. Shall I snap his neck? Oh. I am sorry about this. Right, let me go back to the previous storyline. Uh, birds of prey. Take a picture. Oh, yes. Go camera, use camera. Yes, that's it. There we go. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Just gonna drag the body. Bring the picture to the assistant. They know we are we, 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 we can we can do we can do the work. He can trust us. You asked me to kill this man, and I did it. No hesitation. No hesitation whatsoever. Right, let's go back to the assistant. Looks like he might have some more work for us, though. If we can just get some that trust level up, get in a room with him alone. Oh, dreams. Ingram, you will die today. I feel a bit bad for the reporter, but <laughs> there we go. He got in the way, all right? I'm sorry. Hello there, sir. Hello. He's all, she's on the next level. Just keep calm. Oh, I'm very calm. Agent 47 is always calm. Uh, yeah, Agent, um, assistant, sorry. Mr. I have Kazim, a picture. Welcome back. So, you have the picture? I do. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Ooh. If you follow just the follow assistant me, to the penthouse. Mr. Looking good, Ooh. man. Looking good. I'll take the apple. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, sorry. A little bit too close. So, do you like the building? I love it. This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here Whoa. is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. This is incredible. Look at this. What a space. Even if you're dealing with some kind of state allowance for the answer, the same thing would be true. I'm not, I'm not suggesting this is incredible. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. Okay, why is that relevant? No idea. Right. Will we be in a room alone with Carl? That's what I'm intrigued by. We might be. I mean, there's a lot of guards around. But we have access to the penthouse suite. Please. Mr. Cassie. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. 
A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Can I hide him in the bed? <laughs> Intimate. Hello, Carl? Yes. Your problem is fixed. fixed. Gone. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I yes. need to discuss some delicate business. Yes, clear the room. Cuisine. Perfect. We have Ingram have right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink. Oh, this is perfect. You can Spain, go as well, mate. Don't. Why is that guy not going? What? That guy's still in the room. Well, that's annoying. I oh, just playing solitaire. Of course he is. <laughs> All right, where were we? Not yet. Oh, there we go. Is he off? My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. That's fine. I guess. Reluctantly. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. <laughs> I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard! Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Oh! Really? Oh, this is annoying. There was too many... If I... Killed him... Somehow. I think he maybe I could have poisoned his Mr. drink, Kazim, but... you need to listen to me. Follow me, and don't get sidetracked. Oh, Corey. What a joy. What a joy. Oh, he's there. Look, he's right there. Oh. Okay, if I, I don't Mr. have a Kazim, gun. You need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. I got it, okay? I'm following. Gee, calm down. Stay away from me, sir. You could get hurt. I'm literally walking alongside you. Chill. Chill. There's no need for this. Might come up with a different plan here. See if something opens up. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. I apologize. Following the wrong guard. So I guess he's going to escort me out. Oh, so close, but yet so far. I just fouled at the last hurdle. I would have got shot at. It would have turned into absolute anarchy as well. Yeah. So I backed off. I left it. Might be time to come up with a different plan, potentially. Oh, so close. He was just standing right there. It was less guards than before, but there's still two guards, which would have instantly open-fired. The whole place would have been on high alert. 
Still got another target to take out. It just, yeah, it wouldn't have gone very well. Time to come up with a different plan, I guess. So we managed to open up this door already. Um, managed to find the code. With a little bit of assistance. Right, so we need to... There's two people around the corner. We need to uh, distract them. So one comes around. Oh, the target's just above us. Sort of. Person's got no idea what's going on. Just a subdue, not a kill. Go to sleep. You'll be fine, don't worry. This is a trespassing zone, so... We need to be careful. <laughs> I've got the other body in there as well. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Believe James called in <laughs> I'll be taking that, thank you very much. I quite like that outfit, actually. I'll take that, that disguise. That's now mine. <laughs> and the scissors as well. Thank you. Nice new disguise. That's oh, full. Of course it is. Ugh. Uh, where else can I put the body? I'm going to pull it here and just hope no one finds it. Ew. It'll get very awkward. Hopefully these two are going to split up. Yep. That's where they seem to cook. We do actually have some rat poison, so... Definitely worth uh, using it at some point. Oh, I think I, I think can probably hack that. Yeah. Can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera, and I'll have a try. There we go. Sure, Hoping these two split. Freaking Easy peasy. Always close the door behind you. Not the split. <laughs> See you later. Chick Al Ghazali is reaching area. out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. <laughs> Sorry. Getting far too into this. So basically, going back down, we go back up again. Use the camera. Hopefully, this will. Uh... I got really old camera, by the way. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. I think it's here on the left. Yep. See this hammer? Whoopsie. Ooh. You are out cold, my friend. Let's go into this guy's as well. Whoopsie. Is there a... Yes, there is. I was going to say, where do I put the body? <laughs> where do I pull it? I am now cleaning and maintenance. That's what I do best. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. Let's pick up the hammer. There's a tiny bit of blood on the floor. A little bit. Oh, look what I found. The server room. Oh, yes. Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Okay, got that. They will look pretty similar, I'd say. Okay. Just pull one out. Ah, shoot! Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Ah, uh, we're screwed. All I've got is a screwdriver <laughs> and some scissors. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. I'm gonna have to hope this is good enough. Uh, it's 
just gonna hide here and hope. Hope they don't find me. Simple objective right now is to literally just hide. Don't let them see you. They're on high alert. Everything looks fine. Oh, damn, my guys are Everything looks fine. I'm sick of coming down here. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Yes, let's do that. Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Right, so we need an ID. Hey, it's me. Oh. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. What? I don't want blood on my hand. If we can do that, exploding ball. golf balls, I would love to see that. Uh, yes. What a I kill that would be. That'd be impressive. I, I could have pushed him then. Oh, that would have been tempting. <laughs> Might have got some attention towards us though. So I have the server ID. I'm the body. I love you too. I'll be home as soon as possible. Okay, good. She would have sussed us out. Hence that little white dot above her head. She knows every maintenance guy in the area, and she will not recognize us. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Ah. That screen looks slightly different. Is that fair to say? Yeah, must be that one. Yes! Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar oh. option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Perfect. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. It looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Handy. Oh. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Oh, yeah, the skies, I just realized. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Ooh, yeah, we're looking good. I'm gonna take the AK, or the A33. Perfect. Oh. Infiltrate the penthouse floor. You've got it. Hello. That, that guy would suss us out there. The, uh, uh, That's right, maybe we we'll go this way. We're in. This is where we met the guy before, wasn't it? Pretty sure. That is correct. Basically just loop around. Perfect. <laughs> I've been here before. I recognise this. <gasps> the target's just there, look. Find the lounge. Oh, I will find it. Don't worry about that. What's out here? Oh my. Oh, no, you're kidding me. Place missing explosive ball. What? I have to try and do that at some point. If you guys want me to do that at some point, let me know in the comments. I want to come back and do some really cool assassinations, I think. Need to find the miss the missing golf ball. Yes, I do. All right, I think the partners are alone. This is the lounge. This is it. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Now we'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. Time to secure the room. I've got both the targets in the same room. Oh, this What's is this? godly. Carl, did you do that? I certainly did not. I'm gonna put some poison I in there. I have no idea what's going on. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, then, perfect. What's the meaning of this? You, you are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. 
You killed Cobb, Navicob, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Oh, I will. No! Oh! 47. Finish it. Where the hell is that security panel? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Snaps his neck as well. Only Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Yeah. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. It is done. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. I'll be taking that. I'll get rid of these bodies. They won't have any idea what happened. <laughs> this is hilarious. How did this go so so well? Makes no sense. Went almost perfectly. Right, we can now deactivate the secure room. And we can go. We're done. Look how easy that was. That is pure Agent 47 right there. Impeccable. Professional. On target. We have to come back though. We have to definitely do this explosive uh, gold port. I've got to do that. And luckily there's an escape here. So we can go. Bye bye! They literally have no idea. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> Perfect. Unseen assassin. Beautiful. I've got to do the golf ball one. That's the one that sounds most enticing, to be honest. So I've got 17,000 XP. Not bad, not bad. I've got four stars. I could have definitely got that, that, that mission time down a lot. I was doing like other things and looking around. Not bad though. Not bad at all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I want to do each destination in each video. So uh, look out for the next one very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.